Hello everybody and welcome back to the Foosh. Uh, this is our 2019 elk hunt and uh, which really turned out to be a deer hunt at the end of the day. But uh, stay tuned, we're going to harvest a white-tailed deer and we're going to cook up uh, a great uh, tenderloin over the fire. It's 4.51, September 27th. Chris is driving, you can't see him, it's too dark. We've been on the road for uh, probably one hour and a half. Uh, seven degrees. We got another about 10 hours to drive and uh, see you guys soon. So we're finally at camp and we got a bit of a Gucci setup this year uh, with the RV. We foregoed the tent for this trip and the reason behind that uh, mainly was uh, this area we're hunting has a very healthy population of grizzly bears and we did have an encounter a few years back. So we decided, you know what, let's sleep better and this way we're more comfortable to actually spend our time uh, hunting. As you can see, we're in some really gorgeous country. Uh, we had some high elevations as well, and you know what, we had a blast. Uh, we saw lots of tracks, not many animals though the first few days. And this area we're hunting, I know I mentioned earlier about the uh, healthy grizzly population, <clears throat> but there's also quite a bit of wolves. And uh, wolves, although they don't you know, present a lot of danger towards hunters per se, uh, we've noticed uh, throughout the, the years we've hunted this area that the, uh, the elk have been extremely quiet, not much bugling going on, uh, because that's how wolves track them, uh, of course, other than, you know, following their scent, etc. So morning of day two, and uh, Chris and I decided to split up a bit. We worked the morning a little bit together, and uh, now I've just decided to, uh, to be dropped off on the way back to camp at a uh, game trail and uh, this game trail was definitely very active uh, no elk tracks on it well none that were very very fresh but you'll see I found some very fresh deer tracks and uh, worked these game trails all the way back to camp it was a few kilometers away and uh, it was fun I mean this is this is hunting you know It's a long ways back to camp, I'll tell you that much. Lots of tracks, but I haven't seen anything. <sighs> It'd be nice to see something at least. Lots of fresh deer tracks, a couple, a few elk tracks, but none of them were today, so maybe they've moved on, we'll see. All right, see you soon. Back at camp finally. And Chris has got the fire going. I think we're gonna have a good steak and then head back out. Got the grill on the fire. Got some nice coals in here. Got some potato and veggie packs. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have some great steaks here. Nothing better than steak. On a fire. Let's do this. Right. Okay, so I asked Chris for a plate, and this is what he gave me. It's not my fault. 
Yep. We're hunting and this is what he brought for a plate. Guys, there's nothing that can replicate the taste of a steak that's cooked over um, over the fire. Like really, there's nothing that can replicate that. So we finished this great meal. Uh, we rested for about 45 minutes an hour, and then we decided to go cut some wood because uh, we knew a few cold, cold days were coming, and we weren't doing so well on hunting anyways. It was midday, and we decided to go uh, get some wood. Okay, so we finished up cutting this tree and it had been dead for quite some time so it was really nice and dry and it made great uh, campfire wood later on but we finished uh, packing it into the truck and uh, we're heading back to camp and of course as you all know if it's meant to be you're gonna get an animal and if it's not meant to be you're just simply not gonna get one so um, I guess it was our lucky lucky day, lucky time, whatever you want to call it. But we're around the corner and we're a minute from camp, literally one minute from camp. And Chris looks up this embankment and tells me there's, uh, there's a couple deer standing there. I just shot a buck and uh, it's a white tail buck and he's laying right up there. I took the shot and um, he was almost he was almost gone. They're running up the hill, and I shot him on the run. It was a pretty good hit. He went straight down. It's probably 75 yards, not even. Uh, so we're gonna give him some time and go get uh, him. We got a buck finally. Day what three uh, or two? Day Day Technically two, day, day two, two of two. hunting, day three being here because we didn't really hunt the first yeah. day. <laughs> Beautiful buck and uh, you know what, couldn't be more happy and, and thankful for this. Sorry buddy, but you're gonna go to good use, I promise. So um, that's it guys, now the hard work begins. He's all the way at the top here. We haven't seen anything, lots of tracks, but we hadn't seen any animals. And uh, today we just thought let's go get some wood. and. It's when you least expect it, we always say that. So of course I field dressed the deer right where I shot it. Uh, Chris went back to camp, grabbed the, the ATV and came back. Uh, and we dragged the deer out, strapped it on the ATV and uh, rode all the way back to camp. We put it up on the gambrel, uh, skinned it and you'll see I took one of the tenderloins out. We always do that uh, when we harvest an animal, we'll just celebrate by cooking up a tenderloin. And I find with uh, with a good animal like this, you don't you don't want to you know use a lot of spices, salt and pepper, olive oil. That's it. Like any good cut of uh, cut of meat. I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be an awesome awesome uh, snack. I'm just going to put it on a wooden skewer here. I just put some olive oil on here, some uh, salt and pepper. That's it. Oh, this is so good. Thank you. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I just wanted to end it by saying this. A good hunt should never be judged by whether we got an animal or not. That's, that's not the point. Obviously, that would complete the hunt. 
but a good hunt should always be judged by the memories we make, the, the stories we tell, the precious times around a campfire at night, the, the good meals we have, all of that stuff that we all take for granted all the time. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to go hunting and eat dehydrated meals. Uh, I don't want to go hunting and have, uh, you know, no time to actually spend with friends or family around a campfire. That's not the point. The point is making memories. The point is looking back at all of this in 10, 15, 20 years, showing our kids uh, what we actually did and all the memories we made. And that's the point. And I really hope you enjoyed this and get out there and do what makes you happy. It doesn't have to be hunting, just do what makes you happy. And if you enjoyed this video guys, please hit that subscribe button and let us know what you think in the comments.